Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Tesis Island training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is the comparison between the traditional way of using a uh, target online starter and using the Tesis Island. So, let's go to the presentation. So, what I'm going to focus now is on the benefits that we have using the Tesis Island compared with the traditional way. So, in order to start a motor using DOL, that uh, line, we just need a signal in order to send the, the contactor to to close the contactor in order to turn on the, the motor. Okay, we have the possibility to have the feedback from the contactor if it's open or closed, and also the overload. Okay, the same can be applied. You have the two scenarios using uh, three products or two products for the coordination one or two that basically you can receive those signals. So basically we have like a three cables that we can use two or three cables. Now, as you can see, this is the traditional way. It works, it's perfect, no problem at all. But as we are in this IoT really connected, we want more data and everything, we have a different approach, which is using this Tesis Island. So using the tested island, we can replace the contactor and the overload or just the contactor if you have the motor circuit breaker with the uh, overload, it's just in that case. Uh, but we can replace the contactor and the overload. Okay. So in this particular case, we reduce the, the component just in one starter. Okay. And we have the possibility to add different features. So if you compare this one to one just for one motor, you can see the advantage on the wiring here easily that you just have one communication cable to communicate to the bus copper, which is this one on the green part. Okay. And then you just link using the ribbon communication on the top to the starter. Okay. That will help you to use one communication in order to control the motor. Okay. So for that point of view, it's going to be the same. Okay. But what we need to see is what is behind of having this starter and this bus copper link to a PLC. So if we take a look now, we just don't have just uh, the control uh, on and off of the motor. We have more information. Okay. One of the advantages here, apart from the communication, is that we have different bus couplers. As you can see, we have for Ethernet AP or Modal TCP, and then we have another one for Profinet and another one for Profibus. So you can use our PLC for Schneider Electric, or you can use any other PLC. Okay, and there is a part, um, a specific document uh, saying third-party function blocks, so you can access to all the register and how to access the data for each of the starters or avatars. Okay, in order to control the motor. But I'm not going to go in that direction. I'm just going to mention that we can replace the traditional way of the contact or overload using the starter. Okay, so if we take a look here now, we can see that the starter can also give us further information. And we have, for example, the status of the load, we have the current because we can measure the current over here, the thermal capacity and the status of the motor and the voltage supply. Now, once we have all this, okay, we also have the possibility to use the protections. So we have electrical protections and we have thermal protection and low protection. So if you take a look over here, for example, you have the standard, the overload, which is what we replace the uh, the overload with the contactor using the starter okay but we also have different things so if you take a look here we have undercurrent overcurrent jam long star stall rapid cycle locale rapid restart lookout and this can give us an alarms so we can avoid having to stop the production and then if the alarm is not uh, necessary uh, to take into account of course we trip okay in, in order to avoid any damage so we have further information so 
if we compare again the contactor plus the overload compared with the starter this cover the same from the basic okay but the features that we have for the starter combination this is this island is quite more because it have different functionalities and we can configure that through the software that i'm going to show you later then we have the electrical protection as you can see over here we have current phase lows we can also activate the alarm for this we have the possibility to trip and all this information for tripping our alarm can be stored also on the bus copper so we have a history of what's going on in case if you are using for example just the contactor with the uh, with the overload you just know that it has trip okay but maybe you don't know when and what was the reason here we can identify the problem okay so that is a good advantage of going to this direction so we have more data here to share okay so this is all the functionalities and protection that we have that probably on the overload with the contactor we don't have it and we have the history of what's going on inside the bus coupler which is good now we have also a lot of statistics about all the data that we have so along with all the three pin alarms we also measure all the amount of starters and now that, that information we have too much data on the starter that we don't have it directly on the contactor and we probably need to do some analytics or some additional information on the plc that we have in order to make it work and make all this here on the starter plus the bus copper on the avatars we have that information already available for us which is good so we have this is what we call the data provider which just provide a lot of data about information about the motor and how the life cycle is then as an optional we have the possibility to add to the starter and digital input um, model so this digital input model will allow us to control the starter without using the plc so so far i mentioned how to change this and control the plc but there is no mandatory to have the plc here because we can have the bus coupler and use it as a standalone okay just connecting the wiring over here to use the as a local and then just send the signal to turn on so it's quite handy in that way so we have the two possibilities local using the digital io or remote using the plc we have that possibility here then what we have is the voltage interface model which is this one over here and i put it in this way like this transparency because it's no mandatory but we can have it so we have for the information about the voltage so this one just connect to the same power supply over here and it just read the data and then it calculates all the power and energy that we have also the voltage measure so we have a lot of that over here you can see here so we have data for each starter or each avatar to control a motor and also for the complete iceland so in case i have further um, more than one starter or, for, or more than one avatar what we have the possibility is to measure only just with one voltage interface bim model the complete island information okay so this can also be an advantage for example if you want to see the consumption of a motor using the traditional way you can probably need to use a power meter here you can avoid that using this okay then this is fine okay so you if you are not interested yet about the data and you can probably think about the wiring so imagine now that i don't have just one motor i have plenty of the motors installed so i need to multiply all the signals all the wiring directly to the controller having more additional ios will have an impact of the models on the plc because i need additional inputs and outputs so you can see here that i need to multiply for example if i use only three signals uh, all this information back to the con back to the controller okay you can multiply this and can have a lot of cables going around the enclosure so as we propose this new technology is to use a test asylum so we can have the starters different avatars 
with the possibility to use, for example, the voltage interface and just one cable, single cable, to control it with the PLC. As you can see here, I just forget about the M172 that I have in the first slide. On the M221, we can use any other PLC, or if you use an SCADA, we can use it. Okay, so you can see the agnostics of this. So having these three communication, the PLC, you can control the test design. So here you can see like a reduction of the uh, wiring you can have. So it's, you can speed up the process of this. Another configuration is done on the test side. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to show you the software, how it looks like, and how it can be this applied to you. So in this particular case, I have the um, I have the Modicon M172 connected to the test island, and this is a configuration of the test island. So I have the bus coupler, I have one. IO module link it to the starter and then I have three starters so I have the possibility to control four motors in this particular case now here on the first starter I have already selected the control enable yes so this will allow me to add a digital IO link it to this starter and that will create a whole avatar it's my motor one direction avatar we also have the possibility to add temperature sensor to provide additional information. And we also have load energy monitor. If I add this, it will add the BIM voltage interface model to the island, to the complete island. It will link it to this particular avatar, but it will be available for the complete solution. Then you can see I have for this one, just one, just one, just one device. This is the, uh, the the avatar the starter so I have the possibility to control in this particular case four motors here in the settings you have the possibility to check the assignation of the digital inputs and outputs so if we go here you have the possibility to see that I link it to the avatar motor one the motor IOS and this is the assignation so I can use the local forward reverse uh, the local control without using the PLC and if I have the voltage interface model, I have possibility to go to the monitoring. If we go to the diagnostics, we can see the status of the complete diagram, or we can go into each avatar, so we can see that we have something. In this particular case, you can see that I have nothing. I don't have the power supply for the motor, and you can see over here that uh, there is no need to have the feedback for the uh, motor circuit breaker because I had information. There is no power supply. You can see it has already trip. So you can see that you don't have energy above. Um, you can see the consumption here. You can see the current and then you can see the consumption. There is a lot of things that we can see here uh, when we connect directly to the test design. The test design also has a um, web server. So you can type the IP address in the website and the in the browser, and then you can access to this information, make modifications, small modifications. So this information is available. Now, in order to control this, I have here a test is island. So in this particular case, I have the four starters, three equals, and this one is different, and then I have this in order to make the local control. So I'm going to activate the local control here. Uh, you are seeing this over here. So I'm going to activate the local control. Oh, sorry, it's this one. The local control. So you can see manual override over here, and then I'm going to turn it on. You can hear it. Okay, you can see it's open close, it change, but of course. There is nothing available because there is no energy. But I have the possibility to close and open it. Then I can close it. Okay. So this gives me the possibility to control local control. Okay. And I can assign one particular IO for each module starter. Or I can make the, an IO optimization to reduce the amount of IOs. Now, as you can see here, on the right side, I have a PLC. So this one is communicating to the eyes and over Ethernet. So I have made this code. 
so we can connect to the TC Island. So I'm going to enable this, the use of the starters, and then I'm going to activate uh, the number two. Okay, so you can see that it's close. So number two. Okay, now I'm going to run this one. Now, if we go to the status on some move, motor one direction, this information came in from the PLC. Okay. And then number three, it's also here. It's coming from the PLC. Now, if I turn it off, you should be able to see over here that it opens again, release it. So if we go back and turn it off, as you can see it has been released. And here on the diagram, you can see there is no longer the information from the PLC. Now, I'm going to turn on this one again, just to show that I can use the local or remote. Now is the local. Now I'm going to put it back in remote. So now if we go back here and turn on, you can see that is on again. False. This has been released. Now I'm going to make the on again. So we have the possibility to make these two, and I only have one cable, Ethernet cable to control the start and activation, and also have all the data available for it. Okay, so each avatar has their own ID, and it has the possibility to share all the data. We just need to know where they are located, so we can use it. Okay, so just go back here, Bayman here, and also the spaces can be reduced, not only the, the, the cables. And you can make the installation uh, vertical, uh, horizontal or vertical using this. So I'm going to give you this last bit with all the things that we have for the starter, for the OL that are online. So I know that probably having just one motor isn't going to be it's, uh, it's isn't going to make a huge impact, but you need to see and consider that we have a lot of data and nowadays we just have a lot of information. Uh, the more information we have about the simple thing that we have on the field is going to be useful for everyone else. Maybe it's not useful for us now at the moment, but it may be another person that that information may be critical so we need to consider that also okay so this is how we can make a new way of controller of controlling the dol starter using Tesis island using the avatar of the motor one direction so um just take the time play with the sumo which is free also, the DTM is free, but I have another video for that with an explanation. Analyze the all the advantage by your own. Okay, I believe I can share with you how easy it can be to reduce the wiring using the Tesis Island and all the features that we have using the Tesis Island compared with the traditional way. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.